Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the Bobcat 265 Air Pack. I uh, got our demo unit in. I uh, got it up here. So in this video, we're going to go over what this unit is, what it can do, uh, all the options, the features that it comes with. Uh, I'll give you a tutorial of the screen and uh, undo all the doors, show you around the whole unit. So the new Bobcat 265 Air Pack is a. Uh, it fits into that market where the Miller makes a. Bobcat 200 air pack, and they had an old Trailblazer 302 air pack. Well, this one fits right in the center of those. And they also came out with a new uh, Trailblazer air pack, but we're going to talk about that later in another video. Um, but th this one is going to replace the Trail or the Bobcat 200 air pack eventually. Uh, so this is the replacement. So what you're gaining in this, uh, the old old air pack had 9,000 watts. This one has 11,000 watts peak, 9,500 watt continuous on generator output. So if I show you here, uh, all new screen, and we'll link that video down below. I smashed one with a hammer. Uh, it's got the new screen on it. It's got these new flip ups that actually stay up and lock, which is really nice. Um, we got two 240 volt plugs, two 110 plugs, our negative stud and our positive stud. Um, but like I said, 11,000 peak wattage on this unit. So quite a bit of wattage, it's awesome. Uh, we have a direct connect for a spool gun, so it'll run the Spoolmate series and the 30 series spool guns. Uh, so no longer need that WC24 adapter to come, you know, talk to the, from your Bobcat to your spool gun. Um, this unit also comes standard with jump start battery assist too. So I don't have the cables with me, but that is the jump start thing. So here, let's flip the key. I won't turn it on. You're just gonna see the Miller logo. You hear the fuel pump running. It's gonna tell you what it is zero hours on that. So we got process battery charge, air, and menu. So yeah, this is the battery charge port. Awesome little unit. So that's, uh, now this is only gas only. Um, no diesel option available. This is the UPS, UB, USB for upgrading your machine. Uh, pretty awesome right there on the front of it. And then obviously we got we got our amperage control right here. It goes all the way up to 265 amps on stick. We'll go to process here real quick. So what this thing can do. So we got stick, 6010 stick, carbon arc cutting. Because we have the air pack, we can run carbon arc with this. Now, just to give you a preliminary, we're only limited to 265 amps. So it's gonna take a smaller diameter carbon arc rod, uh, much smaller than what, uh, you know, probably below 3 16 is what you're gonna need to run on this. Um, let's see, we got GTAW, TIG, we got our spool gun, we got our flux core self-shielded, and we got GMAW and FCAW, which is flux core GMAW with a suitcase feeder on this unit. Now this unit does not have arc reach on it, but it will run suitcase feeders off of it. Let's go to 78T. And something I wanted to mention too that kind of sets this thing apart from other machines is that we have auto set. So welding calibration, so our leads aren't hooked up but it's gonna calibrate the distance of our leads and uh, gonna adjust the amperage automatically. So you could pick 7018, 6013, 7024, or stainless steel stick electrode. And then what you do is you just pick the size, eighth inch, and material thickness, quarter inch. And it gives you recommended parameters. Now that's pretty nice, because their screen is very clear to see, easy to navigate, very simple. In that fact, let's see what it'll run up to. It says 316.7018. Let's just see what it, all the way up to half inch, and it gives us 220 amps. That's, that's pretty awesome. So this machine, just it, with auto set, and if you're familiar with auto set with the other Miller machines, you just tell it material thickness, electrode diameter, and what you're welding, and it'll give you recommended parameters. Now you don't have to use those parameters, but those are just recommendations. So that's pretty awesome, and I love how that screen is so clear and easy to use. This up here a little bit, go back down. Okay, so then we're well, now we're at 14 gauge, we went back. So very easy to use, and it lets you only go between the recommended settings, but you can always shut that off and then adjust it wherever you feel necessary. So pretty awesome that it has auto set on this unit. So now if we go into the battery charge, we can jump or charge 12 volt or 24 volt systems. Um, it's gonna tell us how much we're putting out which is pretty sweet. We'll go back here. We'll go to air. Now, air light comes on, but the engine's not on, so the air compressor won't run. 
but I'll show you the air compressor here in just a second. We're going to go to menu and you can go through all this stuff, but here's one of the most interesting things. It tells you your engine oil um, and what the alert's set to. It tells your engine oil filter, how many hours should be changed at that engine oil or engine air filter, fuel filter, battery terminals, check those, compressor oil, spark plug, and brushes. So this thing's going to, it's it's very smart. Keeps track of all of it now on this nice big screen. Um, super nice to have. Very handy um, if you're not good at keeping track of regular scheduled maintenance. So on the side here, if we want to flip over to here, we got our Bobcat sticker, our side door. There's our engine. Oil filter. Um, you can hear that fuel pump still running. Trying to ready for startup. And on this side, so you can notice they, they, it's a little bit longer than the Bobcats uh, 265s out there today, um, but it has a very small air compressor in the very back end. So you put this extra door in the back, back panel. Air output right here, oil, or the filter for the air compressor. Um, and then this is just a giant screw compressor, or a little screw compressor, not giant. Uh, puts out 30 cubic feet per minute of air. So pretty awesome. I'll show you the ports from in there. We got one, two, three, and then that's the third port, and then there's a port on this side. Uh, so you can bring your hose out either either side off this connection, and then we can have a either an air hose reel or hard pipe right there to it. Uh, half inch NPT though, it's a flared fitting, and it does come with that flared fitting, uh, so you can hook up your own hose to it. Flip these back up. We're gonna drop this down here. Coming on down, something new that I noticed on this too. This is the air filter and the check your engine oil here. Something I didn't notice, so you got a little door catch on here now. So he doesn't fall back and smack your lifting eye. Engine oil check, put engine oil there. Here's your air filter. Very easy to maintain, access, um, swap out's really easy. You got your gas, 11 gallon fuel tank, longer run times, uh, very quiet engine drive and this Bobcat really is in, impressive for where it falls into that market of uh, the 265 right the it's what it's replacing is the old 200 and if anybody had an old 200 you would know those things were, were pretty loud and they didn't have a whole lot of amperage output so now you're gaining 60 more amps I believe the 200 had a 230 amp output you're, you're gaining a lot more amperage and it's in a little bit narrower package, so it fits better. And here's the battery, we got it all hooked up. Uh, but you can see very easy to access everything when you're going to change stuff, spark plugs, or working on your air compressor here in the back. back up. But very competitive in that market. Um, now, like I said, 30 cubic feet per minute, it'll run some big tools. Um, and what I will link another video below, we're gonna run half inch impact on one. Uh, just to try it out and uh, give it a test here, see how she runs. But if you got any questions, comments, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for some more. Trouble at all. Now be careful putting them back yeah. like that, but real, real easy.